welcome to Guru Gedara. And today we have Ms. Maheshi with us. Hello, Ms. Maheshi. How are you today? Hello, Ms. Suchitra. I'm doing great. All right. Ms. is doing great today and hope our children are also doing really great. And today I have some questions for Ms. Maheshi. All right. So, Ms. Maheshi. Yes. You told me that you painted your house. Of course, I painted my house beautifully. All right. So, tell me um, how you painted the house. I think I painted our house beautifully. All right. So, she painted her house beautifully. And also another question. You told me that you are really good at baking cakes. Of course, I love baking cakes. All right. So, how did you bake your cake yesterday? I baked my cake tastily. So, Miss Maheshi baked her cake tastily yesterday. And also children, she is a very good singer. Right? Of course, it's my hobby. Okay, so how did you sing yesterday then? I sang songs joyfully. Miss Maheshi sang songs very joyfully. Right children? I have so many questions for you today, right? Miss Sujitra, you are asking so many questions and aren't we starting the lesson today? Exactly, we have already started the lesson. So I asked you how you painted your house and you yes. told me that you painted it really beautifully and you sang joyfully. So we are going to teach this to our children today. Children, we are going to teach you how actions are done, right? So, how are we going to do this lesson today? What are we going to teach you today then? Can you guess? Yes? Miss Ochitra, can I guess? Please, yes. Are we going to teach adverbs? Adverbs, that's very right. So, we are going to teach you what adverbs are, how to use these in sentences, how to make sentences with adverbs. So, children, what are adverbs? Adverbs are to add something to a verb. You know what verbs are. Well, you know what verbs are. Verbs are actions that we do, right? Okay. All right, children. Now, you have to listen to this role play really carefully and look at these highlighted words as well. Miss Mahesh is going to be the teacher. You are the teacher today. Of course, I'd love to be the teacher. All right. I'm the student. I'm yoga. Okay. Shall we start then? Yes. Good morning, Yoga. Good morning, teacher. You have come early. Yes, teacher. I walked quickly to school today because I have to finish my drawing. Let me see. Oh, wow. What a beautiful picture. You have colored it beautifully. Thank you, teacher. Look, your friend Sudeva is running happily to school. He is indeed a fast runner, teacher. He runs fast. All right, children. So, did you look at these highlighted words there? Look at the screen again. You have the words. What are the words, Miss Maheshi? Yes, I can see uh, the word early, quickly, beautifully, happily, and fast. Right. So, these words tell us how things are done, how actions were done. Of course. Right. Early, quickly, beautifully, happily and fast. So from the role play, we have these sentences. Once again, have a look at it, children. Let us read the sentences, Miss Suchitra. Yes. You have come quick. You have come early. I walked quickly to school. You have colored it beautifully. Sudeva is running happily to school. He runs fast. That's right. So today we are going to learn, as I told you, what is this? You can see that on the screen now. It's adverbs. Adverbs. Right. What are adverbs? Adverbs are words that describe a verb. You add something more to the verb and you describe the verb. You describe the action. 
Yes. Adverbs tell us how the action is done. Yes, how the action is done. As Miss Mahesh told us, she painted her house. How did she do it? Beautifully. How did she sing? Joyfully. Oh. Right. And how did she make the cake? Tastily. Tastily. That's yes. right. Now, Miss uh, Maheshi, what can you see in this picture? Yes, uh, I can see a boy uh, and I think uh, he's coloring the picture. Right, just like you painted your house, oh, these, children are, these children are coloring a picture. Right, so children, how do they do that? How are they doing it? We look at this boy. Yes, so he's coloring the picture beautifully. That's right. The boy is coloring the picture. How? Beautifully. It's that. What can you see in this picture, children? Ms. Okay. Maheshi? I think he's singing and he's with a smiling face. That's right. All right. So you also sang. Ms. Maheshi also sang. Yes, right? of course. Joyfully. Now, this boy, the boy is singing how? Happily. The boy is singing happily. That's he's, right. He is singing happily actually. He is singing happily. Now here what do you see? Mm, there is a man and I think uh, he is driving a car mm -hmm. and uh, I think he is a safe driver. Alright. So the man is driving the car and how is he driving children? He is driving safely. That's right. Alright, another adverb we are going to talk about now. Yes, there is a runner and uh, he is running and how is he running? He is running fast. Right, so running is the verb there, running is the action there and the adverb is fast. Remember, he is running fast. Alright children, look at the screen now. How do you form adverbs now? Yes. Uh, if we form the adverb in, uh, from an adjective, is there any rule that we need to follow? Let's see. Adverbs are formed by adding ly to the adjective. You know what adjectives are? What are adjectives? Actually, adjectives are des uh, describing nouns. The words that we use to describe nouns are called adjectives. Right. So, when you take these adverbs, they are formed by adding ly to the adjective. Yes. Let's talk about an example. Yes. Ms. Uchitra, shall I read the first sentence? Yes. Uh, he is a kind teacher and I see the word kind as the adjective in that sentence. Right. So, teacher is the noun there. So, to describe the teacher, we have put kind. Kind is the adjective. Yes. So, how does he teach? Mm -hmm. How does he teach? He teaches kindly. Kindly is the adverb there. Yes. That describes how he teaches. Yeah. How the action takes place. What is the verb there, Miss Maheshi? Uh, the verb is teaches. Right. And how he teaches is described with the adverb kindly. And we made the word kindly using the adjective kind, adding ly. That's really nice. Children, what do you see in this picture now? Yes, I think he is a safe driver. If he is a safe driver, safe is the adjective there. How does he drive if he is a safe driver? How does he drive then? He drives safely. Safely. We yes. added ly to the adjective and that became an adverb. adverb. Right. So, safe become, safe become safely and it changes from adjective to adverb. It's very easy. All right. Children, now you are supposed to form adverbs, shall we give them a small task, Ms. Maheshi? Yeah, of course, we have to give them a task now. Right. So, adverbs are formed by adding ly to the adjective. We have given 
so many adjectives there. You can see that on the screen. Yes. Uh, shall we read them for the children? Yes, Mr. please. Chitra? Yes. Okay. Uh, quick, sudden, safe, kind, careful, beautiful, angry. Those are the adjectives and you have to form their adverbs now. We'll give them some time. Of course, we have to give them time. Now, this is a small, very simple task, children. By adding L-Y, you are making them adverbs. And adverbs are things that you use to describe verbs, to describe actions. Yes. Ms. Suchitra, I think the children are ready with the answers by now. Yes, we'll discuss the answers with them now. Yes. Quick is the adjective. Then what is the adverb? The adverb is quickly. What did you do there? We add ly to the adjective quick and make the word quickly and it has become an adverb. That's right. Sudden. Suddenly. In the same way you add ly to the adjective. Safe. Safely. Adding ly to the adjective safe has made the adverb safely. All right. Kind. Kindly. It's the same way. I think our children are able to make these uh, ad adverbs in this way. It's very easy. Yes. Easy task. Careful. Carefully. There is a L there in careful, the adjective, and simply you add ly again and that becomes an adverb. Carefully is an adverb. Yes. Beautiful. Beautifully. In the same way, you see there is L at, at the end of the uh, adjective beautiful and again you are adding ly. So, you get double L in the, in the adverb beautifully. So, you should be careful when you write these uh, words ending in L. Alright, the last adjective we have is angry. So, never be angry children, right? It's not a good thing. Yes. Ms. Maheshi, what do you say? Yes, we should never be angry. Yes. yes. So, how do you make the adverb now? Yes, the adverb is angrily. Dear children, you might see a little change in this adverb. What have we done, Ms. Suchitra? Alright, so adjective is A-N-G-R-Y, angry. But do you see a Y there? The letter Y in the adverb is absent. You don't have a Y there. So, what did we do now? We yes. crossed that Y off and we put I instead of that. Right. So A-N-G-R-I-L-Y, angrily, is the adverb. Of course, it's very clear, Ms. Suchitra. Now, you need to remember this as well, children. What do we have to remember, Ms. Maheshi? Yes. There are some words that we do not add L-Y uh, for the adjectives to make the adverb. adverb. The words are like fast, hard, you don't say fastly. Yes. He ran fast, yes. not fastly. And you don't say he worked hardly. Then that is another meaning if you say hardly. So yes. make sure that you say we run fast, he work hard, right? Look at these examples. Yes. So uh, the first two e examples, he is a fast runner. And the second one is he runs fast. So here, in the first sentence, dear children, fa the word fast is an adjective, right? Fast runner. It explains the noun runner. But in the second sentence, he runs fast. It describes the action of the person, right? So there, it appears as an adverb. So adjective and adverbs seems like the same word. That's right. And also, you do not add ly there. Fast becomes fast, not fastly. Remember that. Then what about hard? He is a hard worker. Hard is an adjective there because you describe worker, the worker. He works hard. How does he work? Hard is the adverb there and you don't say hardly. Yes. Right? Remember these things, children. Also, you need to remember these things. What? 
Yes, there are three words I can see in Suchitra. Yes, the words what are, are they? Daily, late and early. Right? All right. So, what, are, what is special about these words? All right. So, with the above words, daily, late, early, we use the same form for both adjective and the adverb. Let's see this. She is a daily customer. There you have daily as the adjective. Adjective. Customer yes. is a noun. Yes. Daily is the adjective. How does she come to the shop? She comes to our shop daily. Daily is the adverb. So, Nimal comes early to school. Early here is the adverb. Right. So, it, it describes the action of Nimal, how he comes to school. And in the second one, Miss Suchitra, uh, I think uh, it is used as an adjective. Yes. Nimal is an early student. That's right. The noun student is described here with the adverb early. That's right. So, uh, here you can see the adjective. Nimal is an early student. Early is an adjective. So, it's nice to be, it's good to be early to school. Of course. All right, children. Now, there is a small activity for you all. A very small task. This is going to be very easy for them. Miss Maheshi, of shall we read this for them? Of course, I'll read the words first. Loudly, heavily, carefully, clearly, kindly and fast. Alright, so you have to fill in these blanks with the correct adverb. You know what an adverb is now. Right, now uh, I think our children have done the activity because Miss Suchitra, it was very clear. The lesson was very clear to them and it's very easy to make the adverbs. That's right. But then shall we read this for them? Okay, we will read. My friends talk to me. My brother runs. Our teacher teaches us. He shouted. It rained. The driver drives. So, by looking at the action, they can guess the adverb from the list given. That's right. Children, ready? These are the answers. Are these the answers you have as well? My friends talk to me. How do they talk to you? How should friends talk to the others? How, does, how do your friends talk to you all? They talk to us kindly, right? So here, my friends talk to me kindly. Yes. So the second one, my brother runs. When it comes to the verb running, mm -hmm. I think the adverb which is matching is fast. Fast. So you don't say fastly, no L-Y. Yes. My brother runs fast. All right. Our teacher. Our teacher teaches us. Clearly is the word, I think. Right. Teachers is the verb and clearly is the adverb. He shouted. Yeah. How do you shout? Obviously, we shout loudly. Right. Shouted loudly. It rains. It rains uh, heavily. Heavily. Okay. Rains is the verb. And when you want to describe more about it, then you use the adverb heavily. The driver drives. The driver drives carefully. Yes, they have to drive carefully. All right. Now, children, you, you can see some beautiful pictures there. Now, you are going to make your own sentence and make sure that you uh, use slow for the tortoise, beautiful for the dancer, angry for this child who looks angry here. And Miss Uchitra, mm -hmm. we have given them the adjective, I think. That's right. We so, have given them the adjective. So, yes. our children should be mindful to make the adverb out of the adjective. That's right. Slow. What can we say about this? Slow. Yes. Slow. Mm -hmm. Tortoise is there. Yes. The tortoise crawls slowly. We know that. The, the tortoise is a slow animal. Yes, that is a slow animal. Okay. So, the tortoise crawls slowly. slowly. Slowly is the adverb. The dancer, the beautiful dancer there, what does she do? What yes. is she doing? I think she is dancing beautifully. She is dancing. How is she dancing? She is dancing beautifully. That's right. You can see a man who is talking on the phone and he looks angry. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So the man is talking angrily. That's right, the man is talking. How is he talking angrily? What can you see there, children? Did you form your sentence with an adverb? Yes, it's a rain and it's a heavy rain. So, we can say it is raining heavily. It is raining heavily. Heavily is the adverb there. Mm -hmm. You can see. What do you see there? Yeah, there's a girl. I think she's singing. What is your sentence now with an adverb? What did you make? Tell us. Did you make this? She, the girl is singing beautifully. How is she singing? Beautifully. And also uh, we can say that she is singing loudly. Loudly. Yes, right. Those are the two ad adverbs you can use. Beautifully and loudly. Here, what does he do? Mm. Oh my God. Uh, he's eating and uh, is he eating greedily? Yes, we should not eat greedily. We have to polite when you eat as well. The man yes. is eating greedily. How is he eating, children? He's eating greedily. Greedily is the adverb there. All right, there's a match, adverb match now. Try to make sentences, try to match them meaningfully. Right, so uh, can I read the sentences? Yes, please. We sing, the children play, the deer moves, the lion roars, we must speak. Miss Suchitra, can you read out the adverbs? Yes, yes. Adverbs are politely, swiftly, happily, loudly, joyfully. Now match the correct meaning as well. Okay? All right. Shall we discuss the answers with them? Yes. How do we sing, children? Yes, we sing happily. All right. The children play. The children play joyfully. This is how you had to play. All right. The deer moves. The deer moves swiftly. Swiftly. Very quickly. The lion roars. Yes. The lion roars loudly. Yes, you know that. And the last one, we must speak. We must speak politely. All the time. Politely is the adverb there. So, you have to use these adverbs in your language, right? And so, remember, what do we learn today, children? Yes, we learned adverbs and adverb tells us more about a verb. And, and uh, when we make the adverb, usually we add ly to the adjective. Yes, and an adverb describes or modifies the verb in some way. And an adverb very often tell us how something has happened, how something is happening, right? That's right. All right, children. So, we hope and believe that you have learnt, you have learnt your adverbs really nicely today. I mean, really interesting lesson it was, we believe. So, join hands with Guru Gedera and if you want to watch these programs again and again with your parents, teachers and friends, then their YouTube channel is channel NIE. So stay safe and stay blessed. Wear the mask. Goodbye. Goodbye.